how how do people do this? And do you have information somewhere on Ukadia or somewhere that you could tell me? Is this a legal thing that can be done? I mean, I'm even hearing that people are sending the IRS a bill at the end of the year instead of at 1040 and receiving monies back. I don't know, you know. It's, um, uh, some of it is urban legend. Some of it is buy my DVD. (laughs) And uh, and some of it is true. Um, The the simple answer is, the the simple answer is is to answer the, the, the logic. If you have established that you are the executor of the estate mm-hmm. and um, you are the executor of the estate, then anything that you do uh, as the executor uh, can be compensated. Yeah? Okay. So if as the executor you are forced to comply to certain um, rules that treat you as a trustee or treat you in, in, in some manner as having to pay, I'll give you an example. You go down to the grocery store and you say, I'm the general executor. What's the clerk going to say? So, yeah? Uh, Or or send the bill to the IRS. Here's my groceries. It's $120. Send the bill to the IRS. What's the clerk going to say? Right, but that's why they're sending it at the end of the year straight to the IRS. Exactly. exactly. So the truth of it is, Either they acknowledge that you are in charge of your estate and therefore they provide the tracing or in some respects they are still reserving the right to control some aspects of the estate like the big bonds and other things, yeah? If they are not providing the full accounting and tracing, then guess who can end up paying the bill and sorting it out? The trustees, yeah? Uh Uh-huh. So it's it's really just recognizing where you stand and and the reason why. What they've been doing is they. It's all about their system, right? It's not about getting a free meal. In their system, they write huge bonds and make huge numbers in the back end on your life. You know this, yeah? Right. This is what they're trading on the yeah. stocks, right? right? They're doing this. Okay, so. They're doing this on your life. At the same time, you are struggling every day to make a living, right? Right. So how do you get that money back, that bond? Okay. So when you stand up and say, I'm not going to behave as a slave anymore, I I am the general executor of my life. I mean, this is part of who and what I am. When you have to pay for something out of necessity, guess who ultimately needs to refund the money? The executor? Well, no, you're the executor. If the trustees are uh, uh, behaving with some black ops at some part of your estate, they can ultimately offset those accounts because if they won't reveal it, then they are accepting that they ultimately have the liability, don't they? Right. So the heart of offsetting the heart of accepted for value, the heart of public and private, the heart of all of this stuff, the heart of all of this is that either they give you everything and you sort it out yourself or they continue to accept the liability. It's, they're, they're, it's one or the other, isn't it? It's one or the other. Right. Either give you all the accounts or they continue by default to accept the liability, don't they? Yeah? Okay. That's all you have to do. You, all you have to do is, is get it on the record that either they accept you are the general executor, which they need to, in which case you will administer the accounts this way, or they're accepting the liability. Until you do that, they will use all these other presumptions like you're an employee, you're a registered tax payer, which means you're a registered criminal, to use all these presumptions against you as to why they will not pay your bills, they will not offset the account. All righty? The information is not on the site yet, but it will be in coming days. I've steered clear of, of accepted for value and I've steered clear from putting the material on offsets until now only because 
I'm in the same boat in terms of survival. Let me tell you, I, I, don't, I don't own a home. In fact, I own very little assets at all. I wish I did. I don't. All my money, my whole life has gone into this. I own, and I don't even own it. I'm giving it away. So I'm in the same boat. But I want to avoid people slipping into the mistake of thinking, ah, oh, okay, this is good. You've got to be able to step up to, to knowing what an executor is and how to behave. And then these things are available to you it's not a, a, a quick way. And I know you're not saying it from that perspective, but it's why I've held back because I didn't want to create a flood of people saying, ah, oh, I found a way to make some money. Yeah? Right. I understand. All right. Okay. So well, thank you. I hope, I hope they answer those questions for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. See ya. All right. Bye. Okay, so I'm just trying to um, mute that call and then we'll move on to the next one. Um, okay, there we go. Look, yeah, just as I was saying, it's, it is important before I get on to the next call and before I just get a couple of, couple of quick answers in here for questions, it really is important in that um, I understand when you have, and I understand this personally, I mean, I, I have given up so much to do this and I'm not asking people to say well that's that's you know good on you for doing it but I understand what it's like to, to try and survive on a day-to-day -day basis and whether you have enough money to pay for next month or the month after I know what it's like to be on the on the edges of your seat struggling to survive but that doesn't necessarily excuse us from the onus of starting to become and starting to act as executors there is a risk in the A for V and the accepted for value and the offsetting side that people see it as, as a way to basically um, get rich or, or, or make money. I'm not saying that, that people go to that for that reason. It's, the only, it's a reason why I've been very, very careful not to push that in the material because it's not our intention. It's not our intention that people basically get a free, free meal um, and when we do approach this, it will be approached for the right way, the right reason, so that those in authority see that we are approaching for that right reason. If they don't recognize that we are competent, if they refuse to follow their own rules, then they accept the liability, they accept the consequences. Okay, I see Alpha 999 is back on, so I'm just going to answer that call and then I'll answer your questions in the chat. Hi, Alpha 999. Hi, Frank. Hi. Um, I was going to jump off off subject there a little bit from uh, what, what you've been talking about. Um, the one, uh, could there not be some sort of just a form that we could prepare or, or you know, basically just when we're pulled over on the side of the road with the police, and I know the, that's where some of these problems are coming, but when they go to the court, could... Could, is there not some way we could just have some statement we read that uh, covers everything in preparation for when it, you know as it escalates like you know I'm convening a common law court or a public record you know I'm the occupant of the office and basically any contracting will be on my terms mention a fee okay. schedule I'll tell you where I'll tell you where it gets uh, I'll tell you where it gets simplified um, yes it could be. But the problem is that the state troopers, um, the RCMP, the, the, the sheriffs and so on, the policy officers, police officers, are all being trained now um, as the new threat to them are these uh, sovereigns. And you've probably seen the, the, the material they're producing now. And it's all you know, utter rubbish, but it's being done to image train and say, <clears throat> your new enemy is not the militia, your new enemy is anybody, anybody, that speaks back to you and says, by what power, okay? So they've been trained that these people are threatening, they're antisocial, and they're the new terrorists. Mm -hmm. this, the, the solution is, I don't believe they're not, and I don't want people to, to gamble with um, their health, their lives, their freedom, with a police officer on the side of the road uh, to convince them the error of their ways. The simple answer is, before they get out of the, the, the patrol car, they'll have punched in 
um, the material if there's a license. If there's no license, then they have no way of getting any feedback from the, uh, from the service. The thing is, when you go and register a car, there is nothing that I can see that precludes anyone from correcting the record right from the beginning and saying to the, uh, to the authorities, look, uh, this is the trust, this is who I am, um, I do not wish to, to, or I'm a member of society and, and all members of society wish to uh, travel on the roads and we don't wish to upset the apple cart, so we want plates, but those plates will be as members of society, they'll look exactly the same as the plates for everyone else, but we will not be employees and state employees. We are separate members of society, and here's our bond, here's our underwriting, and we want to make sure that on your record, it makes it clear not to, to detain or, or end. If you want to make them CC plates as diplomatic consuls, whatever you like. Now, if, if we don't hear from you, in 42 days, then we will take it as your consent that instead of that option for us to have our own plates, yeah, and yeah. that we will use our own plates as identification and submit them in. Look, I, I know that, that that's definitely being done, and it's absolutely, you know, it's a basically a notice of understanding and intent and so forth. And yes, yes. To any, all, to all the uh, agencies of the country. I'm just thinking, you know, yes, those things being established, assuming they are, assuming we sent them a fee schedule, assuming all those things, couldn't there be just some short, concise thing, polite and, and very, very kind way of just saying to the police officer? Because that's where the court starts starts right there. Yeah, I, the I, the I agree with you. I think the simplest is, uh, and, and, and this is an area that we know that they are paranoid about because they go after people for, for saying that they produced a false identity. So the identification to them is a big, big issue. Yeah. And if you're a general executor, then I would suggest that you need a, some form of identification as proof because the police officer is yeah. image trained to ask for identification. Right. And that the identification should state your exec executor. And if you are uh, if you are stopped, uh, then and you identify that you are in official business, then you are in official business. And this is the terms and conditions of official business. And if you are impeded in official business, um, then you will be um, citing the police officer and sending a bill and make okay. it very clear. Look, identification, anything to tell them that this is a trust matter and that this is official business. But above all, to avoid the scenario when people get into a debate, it shouldn't be a debate, okay? You have yeah, the identification good. over. If the policeman ignores it, then accept the fact that you're dealing with someone breaking their own rules and move forward. But don't yeah, get into a debate. Yeah. Yeah. No. What I would do is just simply at that, at that point you stop conversation and you just basically go along. It's basically yeah. out of necessity and duress. You move on to the next. But at least if you have a piece of paper, you can hand them with you know the, the basically what you just said to me. And just here's here's maybe you want to go and phone the crown or phone uh, phone your legal team or whatever, and because it's on the record. Yeah, but, whatever. but never never threaten the officer. Never tell them that you're going to, you know, chase them after them or, or uh, you know, have them, you know, have them bond. their bond removed or anything. I mean, yeah. this this yeah. is the the danger, and I think too many people are told, you know, to be kind of almost crazy brave, and yeah. and it's yeah. it's really or people take it on themselves and say, I know what I am, I know my rights. Hey, um, you you hand them that, and and if they don't see the self acknowledgement of the identification if it's not if it's not patently clear for them without you having to say a single thing and they're going to ignore it then I would simply say go with it because you've done your level best and when you go to well you shouldn't be going to court because you'd be rebutting the presumption on the on the facts of the matter um, then uh, then that's it just avoid at all costs the issue of confrontation with people who now are military trained. I yeah. mean, really, yeah. you know, for your own for your own safety, and and I have to say, f for the benefit of the police officer as well. I mean, um, 
you know, let them do their job, uh, give them the opportunity.